Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. I know I'm late and after a long time I'm making this video. I was working on a couple of projects and could not make videos. But I'm back now and will try to make more videos regularly. Recently I have received a question in comment section that why do I use pen tablet and brush tool instead of mouse and pen tool while illustrating. So without any further ado let's explain. Archaeologists discovered evidence of prehistoric rock art, carving or drawing on cave rocks in central India dating back at least 290,000 years. The oldest examples are the Vimbetka petroglyphs, whereas the first use of the term digital art was in the early 1980s when computer engineers devised a paint program which was used by the pioneer digital artist Harold Cohen. This became known as Aron. Graphic tablet or pen tablet mimics that ancient practice of art and drawing by human beings since the cave ages. According to Wikipedia, the first electronic handwriting device was the telautograph, patented by Elisha Gray in 1888. The first graphic tablet resembling contemporary tablets and used for handwriting recognition by a computer was the Stylator in 1957, better known as the Rand tablet, whereas Photoshop and Illustrator developed in the year of 1987. So historically, practically, ergonomically, we are comfortable and relaxed with pen, pencil, paper, canvas since rocks and caves era. Even apart from digital drawing, we mostly use pen, paper, pencil for many other activities or needs like writing, signing, scribbling, etc. It is almost impossible to make a digital signature with mouse. But it is absolutely as easy in graphic tablets as pen and paper. Another most important feature of graphic tablet is pressure sensitivity. There is no such thing as possible with the mouse. The mouse is either on or off, either 100 or 0. There is nothing in between. Whereas pressure sensitivity features allows you to draw like the pencil. In that, the less you press the pen on the tablet surface, the lighter the line or stroke you create. Similarly, more you press the pen, the thicker the line or stroke you get. So we can say there are 0, 1, 2, 3 and gradually reach up to 100 with graphics tablet. Pen tablet is not just on or off or if we say black and white, rather there are many shades of grays in between. Some graphics tablets support another similar features called tilt sensitivity which allows you vary the shape of strokes by tilting the pen. So this pressure sensitivity feature is best for digital drawing especially with brush tool. Canvas mapping is another advantage of graphic tablet that the mouse doesn't have. Your graphic tablet surface is mapped as your entire monitor despite being zoomed in or out or 100% view. Wherever you move your pen, the cursor moves accordingly on your monitor, whether you lift the pen up from the surface or not. Lifting up the mouse acts differently. As soon as you lift up the mouse from the mouse pad or table or surface, the cursor gets frozen. Even moving away the mouse in the air and place it back on any surface anywhere will not change the position of the frozen cursor until you place the mouse on some surface and start dragging. Now let me tell you why do I use brush tool instead of pen tool. Every student goes to drawing school or fine arts college. They learn the drawing and sketching with pencil, brush, crayons, charcoal on paper or canvas. This is a traditional and ancient practice of learning drawing and sketching. So brush tool is similar to that traditional practice 
and the pen tool isn't. To create any precise shape like triangle, rectangle, squares, circles, etc. without using shape tool, pen tool is just unbeatable. But to create an organic shape and lines, it is always a guess while using pen tools to draw it. Without a reference image, it is tremendously tedious to draw a human face or an animal or bird with pen tool because we don't find the natural flow with it like pen or pencil or charcoal. But we all try to draw a face or animal or bird with pencil and paper since childhood and we are comfortable to do that always because of the natural flow. Brush tool helps to mimic that natural flow of drawing and sketching that we did since childhood. Sometime even pencil tool also does the same but with pen tool I don't find that natural flow of sketching or drawing. So are the mouse and pen tool useless? Not at all, never even think about it. Except digital drawing artists, nobody uses graphics tablet for their regular computing work. Mouse is an absolute choice to have, even when you have a graphic tablet. Similarly, brush tool is amazingly awesome for any organic drawing and pressure sensitivity etc. But even sometime I prefer to use pen tool and believe me, I don't know when. So I'll conclude with one simple statement. Focus on art, not the tools. Do not limit your creativity just because you don't know how to use one or two tools. Creating art is the most important part of the digital drawing. Whether you draw it in Photoshop, GIMP, Corel Draw, Illustrator and with pen tool, pencil tool, shape tool, brush tool, whatever else are there. Every tools are there to help you creating your art. Your creativity cannot be limited to some tools and techniques. So enjoy creating. So that's it for the day. How do you like it? Let me know in the comment section. Please give a like, make some comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Till then, keep learning. Come.